Comic-Con has come and gone, Kryptonians. I personally wasn't at Comic-Con. I was in D.C. the entire weekend, but I came back, and I just, I had to talk about these trailers, and anybody who knows me knows that I am a diehard Godzilla fanboy ever since I was a kid, so I gotta talk about Godzilla first. Holy shit, did they knock it out of the freaking park with that trailer. I'm not joking with you guys when I say that when I watched that Godzilla King of the Monsters trailer, which debuted Saturday, I lost my mind. I lost my freaking mind. I was in full emotional meltdown watching that trailer, guys. I'm not gonna lie. There's just so much epicness captured in two and a half minutes. It's just... Oh my god, it was just mind-blowing. I suppose I should start off talking about the big guy himself, Godzilla. He, yeah, he looks visually really good. But it's not enough to say that Godzilla looks visually gorgeous, because if we're being honest, back in 2014 in that Godzilla movie, he looked visually gorgeous in that movie. You know, when he was on screen. You can already see the complaints and the people being cynical piling up on this trailer, like where people watch the trailer and then they just kind of go, Nah, well, he was in this trailer a lot more than he was in the original Godzilla movie. To which I would say, well, yeah, I'm pretty sure that the creators of the first Godzilla movie and the people that are writing this movie have heard all of those complaints and I'm fairly certain that you're going to get a lot more Godzilla this time around. Think about how bad they'd have to screw up if they had another Godzilla movie called King of the Monsters and once again they teased Godzilla throughout the entire movie. No, 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 no. I feel like they're not going to hold back with this shit. And if they do, oh my god, that might make this one of the biggest misfires in monster movie history. Godzilla himself, he looks big, he looks epic, he looks awesome. I love the shot where he comes out of the water and everybody's just kind of like, holy shit, and then he shoots his atomic breath into the sky. Why is he shooting his atomic breath into the sky? I, I, I don't know. He could have been trying to hit a pigeon. It could have just been a show of dominance. He could have just had gas. I don't know. We'll just have to wait to see until the movie. This movie is called King of the Monsters, plural, which means that there are going to be other monsters that pop up in this movie and we got confirmation in this trailer because we got Rodan and we got Mothra and we got King Ghidorah. I'm gonna get to King Ghidorah later. Let me talk about Rodan and Mothra for a second because Wow, they look amazing. Literally from a visual standpoint, everything in this goddamn trailer looks amazing. If there's nothing else that this trailer captured, it is the spectacle. It is the huge scope and scale and size and power and beauty of these monsters wrecking shit. I had to describe this trailer in two words. I would just call it majestic beauty. It is. It's majestically beautiful. Of course, it's majestic beauty that's wiping out a whole bunch of cities and humans, I'm assuming, but... It Still majestic. I love the shots of Rodan flying through Washington, D.C. As we see, the city literally looks like it's on tornado fire. Mothra, it was really cool to see Mothra in this trailer. You do see that one interesting scene where the kid in the movie, I'm pretty sure it's Millie from Stranger Things, she tries to touch Mothra, and I'm just kind of like, okay, is Mothra letting her get close to him so that he can eat her, or is he captured? Is he asleep? What's the situation going on there? When it comes to Mothra, I always knew that he was going to show up in this universe, though, because back in the original Godzilla movie, they had Easter eggs that teased some of these monster showing up. Remember that lab scene from the first Godzilla movie where Brian Cranston and his son are walking through that lab and you see that little, I don't know, that experimentation tube? Yeah, you see some Mothra shit in there. I'm just kind of like, oh god, they're setting up Mothra to show up in one of these movies. It's gonna be amazing. Sure enough, here we are a few years later and Mothra and Rodan show up in a trailer and they're gonna wreck some shit. I love the shot of Rodan flying over the suburban area and the force and the impact of his wings and the wind is just like wiping out this entire residential neighborhood. Shit like that is what I'm talking about. If you're gonna have a big ass monster movie with all of these iconic monsters, shit needs to be wrecked and it needs to look legit. Speaking of legit, we got King Ghidorah in this trailer and I just, I had a complete nerdgasm meltdown when I saw him. King Ghidorah is like one of the biggest and most iconic Godzilla monsters out there. I always wondered if he was going to show up in this monster verse and now he officially is going to show up. No, Godzilla gets called the king of the monsters and it, it, rightfully so. I mean, Godzilla is the, he's the tits, right, when it comes to monsters. But King Ghidorah is called king for a reason, which means this movie's basically setting up to be king versus king and it's, it's just it's awesome who wouldn't want to see that shit and this isn't a case where godzilla can just overpower something like king Ghidorah can overpower godzilla if he needs to king Ghidorah, godzilla might actually need help taking him down as far as the plot of the trailer and as far as some of the stuff that the human beings are going through you see vera varmiga you see millie from stranger things like i said you see ice cube son in this movie and you don't really know how the humans fit into the story yet you hear them talking about human extinction you hear them talking about a virus or something like that and you hear them talking about titans and when they mention the titans you see that underwater city shit and it's just like holy shit is there an entire city full of these monsters 
That is epic. Then you're wondering when they're talking about the Titans, are they talking about getting Godzilla to take out these Titans so that the world can be safe? Or is Godzilla such a threat at this point that these other Titans need to be found so that they could take out Godzilla? I don't know, but I just, I feel like most of the human beings in this movie are going to die for some reason. That's what it's setting up for. It leads me to another interesting place when I watch this trailer. There's a lot of post-apocalyptic imagery here. I, I really don't see huge crowds of people. I don't see a whole bunch of people running and screaming or whatever. It seems like there's a very small select group of humans left. Maybe some military personnel, maybe Monarch and the rest of their scientists, but I don't really see a whole lot of population left after these monsters. So that leads me to ask, okay, like, are we headed towards a post-apocalyptic kind of world where human beings are, like, pushed to the brink of extinction and the world is ruled by these gigantic monsters? I don't know. I'm just saying it would be kind of cool to see Kong and Godzilla fighting in the ruins of the old world, the human beings just trying to survive the shit. I don't know. I think that's an intriguing idea. I'm just saying some of the imagery and some of the visuals in this trailer just spoke of post-apocalyptic type shit. The great thing about this trailer is that it combined all that spectacle and all that action into something that was wrapped up with a beautiful score. I'm pretty sure the score for the trailer was Blair DeLune. I'm pretty sure that's her name. The actual composer for Godzilla King of the Monsters is Bear McCreary, I think. And if the score for Godzilla King of the Monsters is anything like the score in this trailer... Holy shit. I mean, that that's that's eggs on a tip, people. I love the visuals. I love the score. I love the scale. I love the size. I love Godzilla. I love King Ghidorah. I can't wait to see them fight. All right, so guys, tell me what were your thoughts about the Godzilla trailer. Please list that in the comment section below. How excited are you to see it? Please like and subscribe to the Superfan Show. And as always, if you like what you see, tell me how you feel. And stay tuned to hear more from the Man of Steel. Peace.